Japan is more than doubling the number of regions under enhanced COVID-19 curbs. The government has expanded its partial state of emergency to 18 more prefectures to contain the spread of Omicron. Now, the measures will take effect from Thursday. This comes as new infections nationwide exceed 60,000 for the first time. Michio Ishida reports. The expansion means three quarters of Japan will be under a quasi state of emergency. In those prefectures, restaurants and bars will be asked to close by 9 p.m. and stop serving alcoholic beverages after 8 p.m. Nationwide, new daily cases topped 60,000 on Tuesday, breaking the record of the fifth wave last August. The Ministry of Health says over 300 nursery schools have shut down, with 19,000 children and staff infected. This means parents regarded as close contacts cannot go to work. For now, even if they tested negative, they have to be quarantined for at least 10 days. The medical system is at risk of being overwhelmed. Some experts predict half of Tokyo's hospital beds for COVID-19 patients will be filled up soon. This would be at the level to call for a full-on state of emergency. Experts think the actual number of new infections is much more than reported. Having said that, Omicron, which is now the dominant variant in Japan, is so far not as fatal as the Delta variant. The surge in COVID-19 cases coincides with a drop in the public approval rating for Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's cabinet. Public approval ratings for the cabinet were rising for the past month, but are no longer. Major Daily Asahi Shimbun's poll says 41 percent think Mr. Kishida did not handle the situation well more than those who think he did. Booster vaccination is not accelerating as fast as Mr. Kishida has promised. As of Tuesday, those who had their third dose made up just 2.1 percent of the population. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.